Hi, this is Mark from uh, Groupable, and we're going to run through and show you how to set up your dues for a new year if you have been billing your dues through M2 in the past and it's time to roll over to the next year. That's what we're going to cover in this video. So I'm going to go ahead and get logged in and get started here. So the first thing I want to do is I want to go to the dues and arrears right here on the menu. This is also available under the financial menu under dues and arrears. And the menu for managing all your dues functions is right here under the three lines for the menu icon. And we want to add a new dues year. First thing's going to come up is going to show you all of your types and what they're going to get billed when we go through this process. Make sure those are correct. If they're not, you can always hit cancel. You can scroll down and all your member types are right here so you could edit those and fix that. Also make sure that you don't have any members who don't have a member type assigned to them. Uh, you won't be able to start the process. If you do, it's going to tell you you need to go sign those people up to a particular dues category. So I'm going to go ahead and start this again to add the new dues year. And I'm going to say everything's good. I'm going to go ahead and select my dues year. I happen to be setting up 2021 at the moment. I'm going to go ahead and click the setup button. And it's going to create all the receivables records for those members. And I am now all set up and ready to start either emailing or printing out my dues notices. So that's again under the menu here for managing the dues. I'm going to go to email and print dues notices. And you have a due date. And my due date happens to be the last day of the year. You can put in the directions on doing your, uh, how you want the dues sent to you. What are, do you want them sent to the address? Do you want them sent to the address of the assistant secretary? Whatever it is, make sure it's clear there for them. You put in the return address, which is actually going to be on the dues notices and will show through the window if you print them out and use a number 10 envelope. So go ahead and click next. This is going to give you a little preview of what this looks like. You click next that's going to take you to emailing your dues notices you can send them to members who owe dues all members or a single member if you want to do that you do need a subject on here I'm going to do members who owe dues this is the first dues notice please see attached the dues notice remember you can always uh, pay by credit card if you like, sincerely. Now paying by credit card, there is a separate video on setting that up for your local group. There is a process to go through there. I'm not going to cover it here. If you want people to be able to pay by that, you have to do that. But uh, sending by email is still valuable because we generate the PDF and we attach it to the email so the member can print that PDF off and then send it back to you via US Postal Mail. So I'm going to say uh, go ahead and send here. That's going to be sending those in the background and processing those. Now I can print them out also if I need to do that. Again, all members, you do members by a particular member type. You can do a single member. I'm going to say all member. I'm going to say skip members who don't owe dues. I'm also going to say skip the ones that I sent the email to. So I don't have to repeat that. I can sort by name or postal code. I can do one to page, one to page on the bottom or the top, three per page. You can also include a contact form that gives them what we currently have for contact information and then a box for them to fill in their updated information. You can include a custom message on the ones where we do one per page. And you can include a link to remind them that they can pay online if you have gone ahead and set up your merchant account. Actually, I'm going to actually do this for everyone so I make sure I get some output here. Go ahead and I'm going to hit print here. And I get my dues notices. So I've got all my dues notices here. I can go ahead and close that up and get rid of that. Now, if I need to, I can print address labels and envelopes again. You've got basically the same options here. You can do it as a number 10 envelope. You can do it as Avery labels. If you do that, we ask you what label do you want to start on? Let's say I want to start on the seventh label. I can go ahead and print those out and that will give me my labels to put on my envelopes to send out my dues notice. 
And that's the whole process for the whole year.